Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hey, hello, Miss Karen. How is everything going for you? Excellent. All right, perfect. What about your day? Uh very bad, very, very busy, very busy. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Very oh. tired. Mm hmm. Oh, but very, very tiring. Very, very tiring. Very tiring, but uh, oh, mm -hmm. excellent because I don't work tomorrow. Oh, amazing! That's that's nice. <laughs> that's good news. <laughs> amazing! Thank you so much. It's nice, people, to have you here one more time. Thank you so much for joining. Since the very beginning of the class. Robin, what about you? What can you tell the class? How's everything for you? I drive in teacher. Hello, how are you doing? I drive in teacher. You're, oh my goodness, sorry, you're driving. Be careful, be safe, please. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. What about for the rest of you? Let me ask on more people. Mr. Manuel, how are you doing? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm hey, fine. Good. You're fine? Yes. Oh, what about your day? The day is busy, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Are you working tomorrow? <clears throat> no. Oh. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Do you usually work on Saturdays or not? Yes, I I work in uh, Monday Monday to, to Friday. Oh, all right, all right. I understand. Thank you, thank you so much. I have more people online, and that's amazing. Welcome to the class, Mister Jose Fraín. Good, good evening. Good evening. How good are evening, you doing? Teacher. How are you doing? I'm doing well, teacher, but. The weather is hot. Really? Yeah, I oh. very hot. Oh my goodness, my goodness. Where do you live, Jose Fraín? <clears throat> I live in Cangrejera La Libertad. In La Libertad. Oh man. Is it yeah. near the is it near the beach? Uh, yes. Oh uh, All right. far. Uh, but um, in my word, yes. Oh, interesting, interesting. All right, thank you so much, people, for joining. I appreciate your, you know, your effort to be here, and welcome all of you for today's class. Let me get started by checking on attendance, and then we get started on some action for today. Let me see attendance. There we are on this document. Let's see. The first person, Miss Claudia Esmeralda. Hello, hello. <coughs> hello, right. teacher. All right. Welcome to the class, Miss. Thank you for your confirmation. Next person, Carlos Roberto, but I believe he's not available. All right. I move on. Eric Steven. Good evening, everyone. Hey, Good evening. Welcome, Mister. Thank you so much. Next one, Guillermo de Jesus. Good evening. Here Good I evening. Am. Oh, thank you so much, Mister, for your confirmation. Gustavo Garcia. Gustavo Garcia, probably not available yet, so I continue. Javier Perez Castillo. Javier Perez. Not yet, I continue. Jose Efraín Rosales. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, mister. Welcome to the class. One more I'm time. Here. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Jose Roberto. Thank you. <clears throat> Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome to your class, mister. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. I am happy to finish this week. Yes, let's do it with energy. There you are. Thank you. Next yes. person, Karen Elizabeth. Yes. 
Hello. Welcome, Miss. Good evening. Thank you so much. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for your confirmation. The next person is Katie Isela Seron. <clears throat> I believe Katie was driving, if I am not mistaken. So I understand, but thank you so much for joining and be safe while you drive. All right. The next person, Manuel de Jesus. I'm here, teacher. <clears throat> All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Miguel Eduardo is the next one, but also uh, Manuel is driving. So uh, be safe and try to incorporate, uh, you know, as soon as you can. Thank you so much for being here as a listener as well. Next person, Monica Andrea. Miss Monica, Monica, Monica. Probably not yet. I continue. Norman Josimar Cruz. Yes, good evening. I'm here. Right. Thank you so much, mister. Welcome to your class. Oscar Edgardo Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Good hey, good evening. Thank you so much, mister. Welcome to your class. I appreciate your uh, effort to be here. The next one, Mr. Pablo Edilberto. Pablo, probably not yet connected. I continue. Patricia Estela Bonilla. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, miss. Thank you for your confirmation. I go for the next. Um, Raquel Alejandra, I believe, is not connected. I continue with Robin. I know you're driving, Robin, so thank you so much for joining. I appreciate that. The next person is Saida Eunice. Hi, good evening. Hey, good evening. Thank you so much, Miss. Welcome to your class. And finally on the list, I have Mr. Sergio Alcides Herrera. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing great. Just ready for the class. Are you ready? Yes, yes, teacher. I am um, hmm? happy too because today it's a Friday. Yes, yes. Thank you, yes. Dad. Let's celebrate. Thank you so much. Perfect, can people. You see, hmm? can, can you see what's it, that movie? Which oh, one? Uh, thank you, God, for the Friday. No, I guess I haven't seen that picture yet, that movie yet. Yes, uh, let, uh, probably you are so young. For Thank you. That. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Probably I haven't seen that one. You know, is it good? Sorry, teacher. Is that a good movie? Yes. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you Donna so much. Summer, do you know uh, who is Donna <laughs> Summer? Uh, singer. No. There is a woman from, uh, it's a black woman, mm -hmm. was, is, was a singer. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. I don't know her. I don't know her, to be honest. Ah, okay. All right. But, you know, uh, as you mentioned, it's, it sounds like a good movie. So? It's probably worth watching. Thank you so much, right? Yeah. Thank you. Welcome everybody for the people who incorporated just a few seconds ago. Thank you so much for being here on today's class. Let's get into business for today, right? We continue working on, on unit number two, all right? That is what we're working on. And let me check on this one. Miss Karen, do you remember the unit's name? Uh, it... mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Uh -huh. Product testing. Uh -huh. product... You sure? <laughs> product testing, I guess. You guess. All right. Is that the name, people, of the unit? Yes, product testing. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's correct. Thank you. Thank you. That is product testing. Thank you so much. Unit number two. Take a look at this one. It's Friday. And what class do we have? Class number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Thank you. Thank you so much. Class number 10. All right. Yeah, yeah. Class number 10. I just have, uh, I was thinking about something, but no, it's class number 10. That's correct. Thank you. Check on this one, people. Just to get started on this one, let's do but a quick quick, quick review. 
what were we talking about yesterday? Who remembers? Let me ask on some people, you see, to see how good your memory is. Let me see. Mr. Manuel, what do you remember? What did we do yesterday? Um, yesterday, in the speaking, mm -hmm. uh, speaking in group, uh, talk yeah. about the, the, <clears throat> the different tests. Uh, for mm -hmm. example, use test, brand mm -hmm. test, mm -hmm. test. All right, all right. Thank you so much, Manuel. That's a good comment. Thank you so much. Miss Claudia, what about you? What do you remember from yesterday's class? <clears throat> hello, hello, Claudia, Claudia. Double hello, checking. teacher. Yeah, no problem. Thank you so much. What do you remember about yesterday's class? Yesterday, mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, for testing, uh huh, uh huh, site and handling testing, <clears throat> yeah. And yesterday, I work, mm -hmm. uh, we work in product developers, all right, development. uh huh. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Claudia. Nicely done. Nicely done. People, do you agree with their information? Is that what we did? <clears throat> or did we do something else? Who wants to participate? Did we do anything else? Let me ask on some people. Miss Patricia, do you remember Patricia? Did we do anything else, Patricia? I agree with Claudia because I remember mm -hmm. talking about the different use mm -hmm. in test and different uh -huh. products mm -hmm. and sequencing for information uh, for you uh, descri description mm -hmm. and select a product for <laughs> or or better uh, say the selection or product for described in this class. All right. Thank you so much, Miss Patricia. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. You are correct, people. That is all we did. Thank you so much. Give memory. Let's see. And today we have some more ideas. Take a look at this one and let me ask on some people to participate. Take a look at the picture, right? Take a look at that one. <clears throat> And let me ask on some of you. Miss Saira Eunice, can you describe the picture on the screen, please? <clears throat> Miss Saira Eunice, hello, hello. Hi. I see mm -hmm. uh, the winds. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Can you give us more details, please? Uh, I see the winds uh, with souls mm -hmm. in the cart. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Let me ask for more people. Oscar, what do you see in the picture? Uh, I I think it's a hash brown with hash. sauce. <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let me ask on more people. Uh, Jose Roberto, what do you see on the screen? What is it? Uh, I see, teacher. Yes, uh, it is a, a, a hash brown uh -huh. with a, a with a recipient that. That has a a cat soup, yeah. And then see, yes, 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 teacher. I I see this the recipient mm -hmm. in into a holder. 
Ajá. In the Ajá. window of the car. On the window of the car. On the, the air conditioner window uh -huh. car. Uh -huh. All right. All right. Ah, that's a good point. People, yes. is the person in a car? What do you think? What do you think, Manuel? Is this person in a car or is what is this person? Yes, <laughs> the person is in the car. <clears throat> All right. All right. Probably you see this information. Air bent. That is how you can call this one. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Let's see. The next one. Let me show you the next. Check on this one, people. Take a look at this one on your screens. And let me ask more people to participate on this one. Mr. Eric, take a look at this one, Eric. What do you see on the screen? <clears throat> uh, I can see a uh, uh, jo, jo, the, the, new, the new picture, right? Yeah, the, the, the green picture. one. Exactly, the, the new picture. Yeah. That's it. Ah, okay. It is I think is for put uh, the the bag of tea mm -hmm. inside uh -huh. mm -hmm. and maybe because for the the tea don't uh, drop in the water. All right, all right, mm -hmm. all right, all right. So it's it's so the tea the tea doesn't drop. Right, doesn't drop. It doesn't drop. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you for your participation and for your comment, Karen. Is that correct, Karen, or do you think this is for a different purpose? <clears throat> uh, it's a cute dino tea infuser. Ah, yeah, that... very... <laughs> uh -huh. very cute. <clears throat> All right, all right. And as you mentioned, it's a, it's a dinosaur, right? Yes. All right, all right. Thank you so much. All right. Now, let's go for the next one because I have one more picture for you. Take a look at this one. <clears throat> all right. Take a look at the picture. And let me ask some people to describe. Hmm. Let me see. I need some collaboration at this moment. And I will ask on uh, Miss Miss Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Take a look at the last picture. Can you describe what you see, please? Um, it's a, I don't know the name. The light. Mm -hmm. Let's begin by something basic. What do you see? Something that you see and something that you know. That's it. It's an animal. Uh huh. Um, uh, a farmer. All right. And What's the the place? Mm -hmm. It's a farmer. No, uh -huh. no es la llave. Uh huh. No sé, pero aquí tiene que estar. Va. And um, what animal is it? It's a roast uh -huh. roaster. Uh -huh. It's for roaster. it's for your roaster roaster pet. Ah, how do you spell? Check on this one. We go for rooster. How do we spell it? Yeah. R how do we spell rooster? Uh huh. R, 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 R O O O O O S S E E uh -huh. R R E R E. All right, like this one. Uh, yeah. All I right, think. all right. Thank you so much. It's a rooster. That's it. Claudia, continue. What else do you see? Now we can say the name of the animal. It's a rooster. What else do you see, Claudia? Where? Uh huh. Maybe Some... mm -hmm. in a farmer. Pro in a farm. Farm. All in right. A farm. All right. Thank you. By the way, Claudia, take take a look at the product. All right. Take a look at this one. Do you know the name of this product, Claudia? Wow. 
All right. I don't know. No problem. All right. No problem. Let me ask him. Say cor Correa. Ah, that's the that's the good point. That's a good point. How do you say that one, people? At this moment, people, Google it. Google it. <laughs> it's truck. I don't have. I don't have I am not sure. It so. might be possible to go for a strap. It might be possible, right? Might be possible. Any other that you know, people? And I don't know, uh, La Pechera is a bead, bead with oh. a strap. The, it, might no. be, it might be possible. There is one word that probably expresses the idea better. Let me see on this one. We can say... <clears throat> sorry, sorry, sir. Here. Pet belt. Pet belt might be. All right. Check on this one. We can say like this one. Leash. Yeah, yeah, that's the pronunciation. Leash. Right? Leash. All right? That is like the complete, uh, let's see, piece of equipment you put on this one. Is it common to put a leash on a rooster? No. 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 Where do we usually see the the leash? In what animal? The, for the oh. dogs. Oh. For the puppies. Ah, oh, for puppies, for dogs. All right, all right. That's a little bit different, right? Thank you. Thank you so much. This this uh, uh -huh. this is possibly actually the 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 people in the world are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think people have used yeah. leash here in El Salvador for 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 roosters? No, no. In El Salvador, no. the roosters are full. Oh my goodness! No pets. <laughs> and, and uh -huh. We need. We don't need to play with the the food. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> we don't play with food. That's a good point. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, thank you. Later, now, the pet. Exactly. There we are. Thank you. Thank you so much for your comments and your descriptions. Now I have a question. And let me see on this one. Mr. Norman Hosimar, can you read the question on screen, please? <clears throat> Which pro which <clears throat> product would you buy? All what? right. <clears throat> check on check on intonation, right? Which which of these products would you buy? Why? Remember the emphasis. Which that is the best one, right? Which of these products would you buy? Why? One more time, Norman, please. Which of these which products, of these would, products you would you buy? Why? Thank you. Thank you so much. Norman, choose a person to answer this question, please. <clears throat> Manuel de Jesus. All right. Thank you so much. Manuel, go ahead. <clears throat> Sorry. We, which of these products would you, would you buy? Why? Uh -huh. All uh, right, okay. what's your answer? Three products? Which one for you and why? <clears throat> um, I don't know the how do you uh, the name the, the the first picture, the container or, or this container uh, for capture. For capture, but right, we can say like this one, uh let's call uh sauce, right? Uh let's see, sauce holder. When wow. you say holder is like the piece, right? Because the function is to have something, to hold something. So it's holder. Okay. Uh, I I buy. I, would, uh, I would buy. I I will buy uh, mm -hmm. the salt holder mm -hmm. because uh, I think uh, I think is 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 a. I understand product for the for when when the people eat in the into the car. All right. Thank you for your point, Manuel. Choose other person to provide details, please. Select the per other person to answer this. 
<clears throat> Oscar. All right, go ahead, Oscar. We listen to you. Okay. Yeah. I I agree with Manuel. I will buy the the first one, the source holder, because it is more useful when you when 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 you uh, is in a in a travel you you can you can eat something like that and and, and you can put put sauce in your food. All right. Check on this when when you are traveling, right? When you are traveling. Yes. All right. You're traveling. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Oscar. That's a good point. Thank you so much. Let me ask on more people because we have more information. Take a look at the question. Monica, can we have your collaboration to read the question in real, please? The second one. Which yeah. of these products will you not buy? Why? Why? All right. Uh, Monica, what about, can you answer that question as well, please? Yes. Mm -hmm. I didn't buy the, mm -hmm. the product who you inside the nugget. All right. That, the sauce holder. Yeah. The Why what? not? Uh -huh. <laughs> sauce, sauce holder. Sauce holder. Yeah. Because for me, it's not a um, great idea eating in the car. I don't uh, taste the food very well. Uh, it's not uh, comfortable. <clears throat> comfortable, not comfortable. Comfortable. All right. Thank you so much, Monica. Choose other person to participate. Monica, please. Um, Sergio. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I am agree with my my friend. Uh, I don't buy the the leash in either saucer holder. Uh, I am fan of Nessie from mm -hmm. the, the monster. Nessie. League. <laughs> yeah. The the uh, Ness Lake. Uh -huh, exactly. That is a this is a, a great idea. Uh, the the baby Nessie for make the the tea inside. Uh -huh. uh, I, I like the, the idea. I I I believe I can buy a, a five of this object. Five five, five products. <laughs> See, five products like this. This is a for me, it's a great idea. All right. Thank you so much, Sergio. I appreciate your participation on that one. Just double checking on the comment because, because of the question, we should say I wouldn't because the question is with would, you know, to, to express an idea, right? So you say I wouldn't, right? I didn't buy or I don't buy. Mm, not the best one. I wouldn't, right? To express this idea. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, the last question for this part, people. Let me highlight the other one. Oh, let me raise the last one. And I need one person to read. Mr. I give the chance to one person. Mr. Yeah. Guillermo. Uh, sorry. Hello. Hello. Did I participate now? <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Javier. No problem. Go ahead. Is there a way to predict if your product will be accepted from consumer? All right, thank you so much. Check on this one. Remember, let's continue working on intonation. Listen to this. Is there a way to predict if your uh, one more time, right? Is there a way to predict if your product will be accepted by the customer? It's it's it is a yes no question. The emphasis goes at the end. Listen one more time. Is there a way to predict if your product will be accepted by the customer? Javier, can you give it a try, please? Is there a way to predict if you will be accepted by the consumer? All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 
And Javier, can you participate and answer the same question, please? What do you think? Is it possible to make a prediction if people would like or people will accept the product? Can you hear me? Yeah, at this moment, yes. Um, I think it depends mm -hmm. because the, like, uh, the people now, I mm -hmm. think uh, the friend want whatever mm -hmm. can want to to eat, I think, mm -hmm. or to drink mm -hmm. because uh, <clears throat> today the people want the more of the food, mm -hmm. the, the easy food, or I, how can I say, how can I say it's the mm -hmm. more Chatara como comida rápida. Oh. Uh, junk food? Uh, junk food, yeah. Uh -huh. Today, want to, the people want to mm -hmm. buy for, for that, mm -hmm. for food. But uh, what make? I don't know if you understand. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. All right. No problem. Thank you so much, Javier. That's a good point. Thank you so much. Let's give the chance to Guillermo. He, he wants to contribute with something. Go ahead, Guillermo. I think that you can predict <clears throat> what product the people want to buy. Mm -hmm. uh, you... Uh, it's like you are uh, making right now, asking the people what product mm -hmm. they going to like. Mm -hmm. So you can make your idea what product is more uh, acceptable for the all the people. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you all of you for your participations. You know, it might be possible to know we can do something about this one just to get some information. Let's do a quick practice about this one. Let me check. There we are, right? We jump for the next part. Take a look at this one, people. What comes to your mind when you see this picture? Don't tell me if there is a brand, don't tell me the brand, but what is it? What is the product? Pepsi. No, I don't tell me. Ah, it's soda, right? Ah. All right, it's soda, soda, right? A beverage, drink. All right, take a look at the other one. Don't tell me the brand. Just you know, this is a, this is a blind test. <laughs> tell me, Jose Roberto, what are you going to participate? No, the the the, the taste of this soda mm -hmm. is Coca. Oh, uh, really? Cola, cola, cola. It's cola. It's ah, cola. cola ah. Yes, cola. Ah, yes. All right. If you say Coca Cola, that's different. No, no, right? no, no, no. <laughs> that's it's, right. it's cola. The flavor, like, right? Cola, like, right? There like, I remember uh, <clears throat> some years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, there, there, uh, there, there was there are there are not there was a uh -huh. a, a, a some refresh. Some 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 drink some drink uh -huh, some drink uh -huh. some drink that the name era mm -hmm. chibola chibola o nada ah. you remember the the, the tío periquito ah. <laughs> chibola o nada this is ah. the yes ah, thank this, you <laughs> in this case this is a a a, a cola, cola taste a co yes. cola taste all right thank you so much yes. thank you thank you mister for that information Take a look at this one. What product is it? Don't tell me the brand, right? Because we're not talking about brand. But what product is this? 
Coca Cola. Cola drinks. Cola drinks. Soda. It's soda, right? We continue. It's soda. Exactly. We continue with a similar product. Take a look at this one. I have a question for you. And let me have some people. Jose, uh, no, 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 I give the chance to Pablo. Pablo. Pablo, can you help us read this question, please? Which, which, which is more accessible for which, you in your neighborhood? Yeah. Which is more accessible? accessible. Check on this one. Uh, accessible. 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 Mm -hmm. Accessible for you in your neighbor neighborhood. Ooh. Neighborhood. All right. One more time, Pablo. Listen to me. Listen to me. I read complete. You listen and then you practice. Which is more accessible for you in your neighborhood, Pablo? Which is more accessible? Accessible. Accessible for you in your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. Thank you so much. Let's see on this one. Jose Efrain, can you answer that question, please? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, in my neighborhood. Red or, in... red or blue, let's say. Red or blue. <laughs> the code. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry? Uh, let's let's uh, refer to this one as red and blue, just to make reference to, to, to the pros, right? Which oh, is more accessible. okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. In my... Neighborhood, I uh, is more accessible, 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 accessible the red. Oh, all but, right. Mm -hmm. Bottle, yeah. <laughs> all right, red bottle. All right, thank you so much. What about in your case, uh, Miss Patricia? Talking about the neighborhood, not in the supermarket, right? Not in the mall, not in the restaurant, in your neighborhood. Patricia? In my neighborhood, it's more accessible. You can buy the red drink. The red drink. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. What about for you, Eric? Yeah, yes, in my neighborhood, mm -hmm. it's more accessible uh, red dream too. The red dream, all right, exactly. Thank you so much. I have other question for you. And may I have, uh, let me see, on Gustavo, can you read question number two, please? Read the question number two? Yeah, to read, exactly. <laughs> okay. Uh, when you feel like drinking soda, uh, okay, Oops. I'm going to begin again. No problem, no problem. When you feel like drinking soda, which comes to your mind? Exactly, good intonation, mister. Can you answer that question? The red or the blue? If I tell you soda. Uh, the red one. The red one. All right, thank you so much. Gustavo, choose other classmate to answer, please. Okay, my friend Manuel. All right, thank you. <clears throat> when you feel like drink soda, which we come to you, your mind. <laughs> In my case, I, uh, I, I have a dream blue soda. Oh, all right. I understand. I understand why. I understand. But uh, <laughs> but, but I I like uh, the other the other flavors. Right. No, no cola. No. Maybe uh -huh. orange. Maybe a strawberry. Oh, all right. Good alternative. I, I like the other flavor. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Next question. Uh, I have one more person to read the question. Mr. Jose Roberto, can you read the question, please? Which, right, the emphasis, which has? Okay. Which has the best price? All right. Can you answer that one, Jose Roberto? Comparing mm -hmm. the blue and, and the red. I see that the price is similar. Mm -hmm. uh, both, both, both bottle teacher. Okay. Probably. See, yeah, they, for me, it is similar. All right. Thank then, you. Then you choose. You choose. Not for the price. Uh, you choose for the, the taste. All right. Thank you, Jose Roberto. Can, yes. 
Can you choose uh -huh. other person to answer the same question, please? Uh, Sergio. All right, go ahead. Okay. Thank you, Robert. Um, I think the the both products have the same price. Uh, that is the option, uh, personal option. Mm -hmm. What did the poison want to, to drink? <laughs> Uh, I, I, I think the 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 product with the level blue uh, uh -huh. have more have more sugar uh, than the the red. The, uh -huh. the red I think have another another taste. Uh, mm -hmm. Have a little difference between, uh, mm -hmm. but it's a personal decision. So I, mm -hmm. I, I I don't I don't I don't drink uh, uh, this uh, this product, but mm -hmm. uh, long time ago I I, I prefer the, the the red product. The red one. All right, all right. Thank you so much for that one. Right. Thank you so much. Let me go for the next question to work on this one. All right, and I need one lady to ans to read the question. Miss, uh, Miss Saida Eunice, can you read this question, please? Question number four. Okay, which has the best flavor? All right, what's your opinion, Saida? Blue or red? In my case, I don't like. Mm -hmm. You don't like sodas? No, I don't like. That's understandable. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> that option. I, yeah, exactly. It's optional on this one. Saida, can you choose other classmates to answer this question, please? Okay. Um... Pablo. All right. Pablo, what about you? What's your opinion, right? Uh, we, uh, I, for me, reflex natural. Oh, I, no. oh. I saw that I saw that uh, más dañino en, en el sexo, el sex, el sex. In excess, well, right? In, in excess. excess, in excess. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Optional. All right. So you prefer natural juices or natural refreshments? Natural, natural refresh in the best. All right. All right. So you can say like this one, uh, Mr. Pablo. So thus, or let's let's make it plural. So thus are harmful. Yeah. Harmful. Are, are for. Check on this one. I read, I read the complete expression and then you repeat after me. So that's are harmful. So that's are harmful. All right, harmful. That is the mean, right? In excess. Damages. Excess. Uh -huh. In excess, right? In excess. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. People, general question for all of you. Which has the best flavor? Opinions. I want to listen. Blue or red? If you prefer this, red, 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 <laughs> right. I, I need a full pair. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for your opinions. Take a look at this one. I, we were doing a practice. This is an example of what were we doing? Can you, can you discover the message? Focus group. Focus group. All right, interesting. Have you heard of this before? Do you know something about this information, focus group? Focus group. For the book, teacher. For the book. Hmm. <laughs> interesting. All right, no problem, no problem. All right, let me see on this one. Let's go for the next info, right? As you mentioned, 
exactly this was just an example a, a real example right of a focus group let's have some information on this one take a look at the first sentence all right and how do we complete this one what do you think we have the sentence and we have the two alternatives all right at the end let me ask on a person oscar can you read the sentence, the first sentence, and include the correct alternative, big or small. Okay, teacher. There is a small group of participants. All right. Your option is a small, All right? Thank you so much. Mr. Eric, what do you think? When we talk about focus group, is Oscar mentioned a small. Do you agree or do you have a different opinion? Yes, I agree with Oscar. All right, all right. And why do you think we have small groups on that? I think it's because when is is a big group, mm -hmm. there are so many ideas and many opinions, and that can be dangerous sometimes mm -hmm. because can uh, falls the the true information, right? And maybe. The people, mm -hmm. okay, okay. First, the focus group mm -hmm. uh, has to has has to be a uh, people with experience about the topic, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and uh, and they uh, has to they, they have you, they you, have they, they they have to uh -huh. give a uh, important information about the product. Ah, thank you. And so that's much. why I think so. Hey, that's a good point, Eric. That's a good point. All right. Miss Patricia, do you agree with the sentence? People need to have experience of the product. Is it true, Patricia? What do you think? It depends. Mm -hmm. uh, because sometimes uh, people don't have experience, mm -hmm. but they need this, the product for... Uh, how do you say curiosidad? Curiosity? For curi curiosity. Uh -huh. uh, in my case, it's normally I taste a product for curiosity. Mm -hmm. uh, no for <laughs> necessary to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I think. All right. Thank you, Patricia. Let's go for the same question, Guillermo. Let's go on that one. Let's continue with that idea. Do people, do participants, let's say, right? Do participants need to have exper previous experience with the product to participate in a focus group? I think that is not necessary. Mm -hmm. You can include uh, the people see, uh, without mm -hmm. no preview experience. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Coming back to Eric, because you made a good point. Eric, do you agree with your classmate or can you explain why experience is necessary in a focus group? Yes, uh, I think is my, my point mm -hmm. is because uh, the objective, the, mm -hmm. the, the main objective for the focus group is resolve a, a, an issue maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. an issue about the new product about the features the new product mm -hmm. and uh, if you have uh, people without experience mm -hmm. uh, maybe the, uh, his his or her or her opinion mm -hmm. uh, can be no important for the objective ah. uh, because 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 uh if if you if <clears throat> i i am in a group about technology, mm -hmm. uh, I I lose the case because I I don't nothing mm -hmm. about it. Uh -huh. And but if for if uh, um, I am in a focus group about, mm -hmm. for example, football, by example, or uh -huh, a yeah. player, uh -huh. I, I know a little bit. <laughs> I have a little bit experience, uh -huh. but and that's why I think that's important. All right, thank you so much, Eric. People, Eric mentioned something really important, and that should be the way to have a focus group, right? Experience is a key point. 
imagine we are working to discover opinions of people about a product, right? And we ask and we need to collect information and the people having tried the product, we are not going to collect useful information, right? If you ask me about probably uh, a product from other country or, or, or like, or a service, right? Imagine if you ask me for, you want to obtain information for a service and you ask me about uh, flying to other country and I don't have the experience, my opinion probably is not going to give more contribution to the objective, so right? So check on that one. Focus group, we should consider people with experience. That could be the, the best one, right? Because you can obtain useful information, right? Because if not, information probably is not uh not the best right so but it coming back to the point yeah small group of participants and experience on that one thank you eric that's a good point that you made thank you so much check on this one i have more ideas on this one miss monica read the second question and include the correct alternative on this please there is a mod moderator. Moderator? Moderator. All right. Thank you so much. Mr. Jose Roberto, do you agree with Monica or do you have a different opinion? No, teacher. Uh, it's important mm -hmm. that, uh, that there is a, a moderator mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because it's it the person who, who, who asks for the group for the person in the group teacher mm -hmm. uh, to to <clears throat> for to 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 carry or out to, to carry out the 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 the, the meeting or the uh -huh. uh, in 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 good form. Uh -huh. Yes, it's important to to have a moderator. All right, thank you so they, much. They, <laughs> this moderator explain explain what kind of the product is for investigate the opinion. Exactly. Yes. All, all right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That's nice. And that's correct. Thank you. Check on the other one and I will help you on pronunciation first. So I give the chance for people to participate. Right. Check on this one. Well designed. Well designed. Well designed. Well designed, and the other designed. questionnaire, 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 questionnaire. right? Questionnaire. Well designed questionnaire. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Let's give the chance for one more person to participate. Mr. Uh, Javier, can you read the, the sentence and include the correct alternative, please? There are two. Uh... Should be mm -hmm. a well designed question. A well designed questionnaire. All right. Thank you so much. Karen, what do you think? Do you agree with Javier or do you have a different opinion or why? I'm agree. Mm -hmm. there, should, there should be mm -hmm. a well designed questionnaire. All right. Why, Miss? Uh, because, uh, like, mm -hmm. like Eric, like Eric opinion, mm -hmm. uh, these, these people, uh, we, we need the, the, the experience mm -hmm. for this for these people with mm -hmm. the product. Mm -hmm. So we need a, a well designed questionnaire for 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 uh, have the information. For having for having and for the information. All the, right. the mm -hmm. specific information that we need. Exactly. Thank you so much, Karen, and that's correct, all right? So 
these are some elements and some characteristics about the focus group, right? So we have a clear idea about what a focus group is. Any questions so far? Questions, questions. If not, have you participated in a focus group before, people? Who has participated yeah. in a focus group? Monica, you have? <clears throat> yes, I, uh, I have. Ah, what was the product or, or, or what was the, um, the, the focus group about? The Pizza Hut wants to introduce a new taste. Uh-huh. And they are uh, looking for people who like who likes pizza. Ah. Um invited me. First I have to answer answer some question mm -hmm. for determining mm -hmm. if I was um, a good option. Ah, I, all right. The, ah. For the requirements. Uh-huh. And then they <laughs> Told me okay, uh, come at that time and that hours, mm -hmm. um, they give us gave us the, the pizza, uh -huh. new pizza, mm -hmm. the new pizza we have to taste it, um, mm -hmm. then, um, make our opinion, uh -huh, uh -huh. and say what is the, the better the mm -hmm. ingredients the, mm -hmm. if I like it or not, what mm -hmm. can I change. Uh -huh. Or what can I um, improve for? Uh huh. And uh, finally, they gave the they gave at uh, the participant um gift card for to eat at Pizza Hut. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. And did you listen to Monica's participation? Did the people verify me? she had experience? What do you think? Let me ask on some people. Uh, Oscar, did uh, this company verify if she had experience just to see if she was a good candidate? Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, I think yes, Tichon, because mm -hmm. uh, they, uh, this, this company is uh, are looking for for the best information to uh, to release the, mm -hmm. the the products. Exactly. Thank you so much. Right. And as we hear, you know, the company just gave her a like uh, or made her answer some questions to see if she was a good candidate. Why? Because experience is necessary to answer this one. That gives more information for companies, right? That's why it is not a, something random that you are going to select people. Imagine if you select a person who has never eaten a pizza in, 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 in his or her life, the comment is not going to be probably, you're not going to obtain much information or reliable information. That's why experience is a key point. Thank you so much. Now, people, let's go for the, that, that was the introduction talking about this one. And I need some collaboration at this point. Miss, Mr. 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 Gustavo, can you read today's objective, please? Okay. Objective, we will be able to organize a basic plan to run a focus group to test a product. All right, thank you so much, thank you so much. That is what we do at this moment, right? So we, we will check some ideas on how to do it, how to run, how to develop in this context, right? Not literally running, right? But to carry out, all right? That's the idea. Take a look at this one. There is a short conversation from our book and where, in what page can we find this info? 21. There we are, Twe page 21, thank you so much. Take a look at this one, just give me a second and I get some information for you. Um, I give the chance. 
for one person to read on this info. Mr. Norman, can you read the instructions for this exercise, please? Yes, yes. Uh, read the following conversation between two colleagues. Colleagues? They are colleagues. Colleagues, uh-huh. Colleagues, they are getting ready to organize and run a focus group study. All right, thank you so much, All right? Thank you so much. Nicely done. Just practice for everybody. Take a look at the information that is highlighted. Listen and repeat after me. Colleagues. 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 One more time, one more time. Listen to me. Colleagues. 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 Exactly. And what is a colleague, people? Co-worker. A co-worker. That's it, right? A person working in the same company or with the same uh, profession as you, right? That is a colleague, right? Thank you so much. Take a look at this one. I play the recording for you. We listen to this uh, information and then we have some nice practice about this one. At this point, Let's listen to this conversation. Thank you so much. Let me find it. And then I play this to you. Sample selection for the... All right, there we are. Thank you. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus groups? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with targeted or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You're right. Because we want to find out the overall perception of the product, we will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. First time on this one. Let's listen a second time and then we have some practice. Thank you so much. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus groups? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with targeted or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You're right. Because we want to find out the overall perception of the product, we will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Okay. Thank you so much, people, for your time in this listening exercise. Now, let's see if I can help you on pronunciation with some words. I listen to you. Is there any? Uh, is there anything I can help you with? Please start, start your test. Uh, sorry, in, in what participation, Pablo? Mm, Moises, we, we, uh -huh. we were... We will, we will work, work with yes, targeting, target, targeting, targeting or random samples. Targeting, targeting. It could be targeted. like that one with R. Targeting, targeting, targeting. Uh huh. Thank you. Is there any other people that I can help you with? Somewhere. Let's see. Where is it? Furthermore. Further uh, in more right? Furthermore. Pronunciation, furthermore. 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 And meaning? Furthermore. In this one, when we talk in meaning, in meaning, furthermore is used to include something extra. For example, we have an expression. Like in, in addition. Ad in addition, right? When we say furthermore, it is, the, it is, you know, a different word, but the similar idea. It is a word to introduce other idea. So in addition, furthermore, have the same meaning, to include extra details. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. All right. Tell me, uh, Jose Efraín, did you have any question? Yes, teacher, the, the word, 
Overall. Overall. Pronunciation and then in meaning. All right. Pronunciation. Listen to me and repeat. Overall. Everybody. Overall. 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 Mm -hmm. Exactly. Does anybody know overall? No. If not, let me help you on this one. This could be a synonym. Overall is similar to say. Complete. Complete, exactly. Okay. That is a meaning of overall. Because we want to find out the overall perception, the complete perception of the product. So overall, similar to say complete in that case, right? Considering everything. That's the meaning of overall. Is it clear, Jose Efrain? Yes, teacher. There we are. Thank you so much. Tell me, is there any other question, people? How can I help you? In the participation of Fernanda. Yeah. Accurate. Accurate. Pronunciation, that is for everybody. Pronunciation. Listen and repeat after me. Accurate. 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 All right. Accurate. In that one, it is similar to say precise or exact. Exact. Right. With no mistake. Right. That is the idea. The precise, the correct, no mistakes. Right. The accurate results. That is the meaning of accurate, mister. Is it clearer, mister Guillermo? Yes, thanks. All right, I'm happy to help you. Now, people, let's begin with a real practice. I read this one and you practice after me, and then I give the chance for some people to participate. Remember, we continue working on information. Listen to Moises' questions, all right? Check on this one. Have you made any progress with the sample selection of the focus group? One more time, right? Emphasis at the end. Have you made any progress with the sample selection of the focus groups? Now you people, three, two, one. Have, have, have you made, made any progress, progress with, with the sample, sample selection, selection of the focus groups? Focus group? Hey, that's nicely done, people. Nicely done. Thank you. Let's continue, right? Uh, sure, Moises. We will have the three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Everybody? Sure. 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 Moises. 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 We will have, have at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. results. Accurate results. Let's go for something uh, better. Let me erase this info. I will just emphasize on questions because I believe questions uh, require a little bit more of, of, of practice. The rest, uh, you can handle it and I believe in you. So let's work on other, let me ch choose on the other, uh, this one. This is other question and we are going to practice this one in red just to practice questions at this moment. Listen to this one. In this question, we have two different uh, options. Will we work with targeted, targeted or random samples, right? Because there are two elements at the end the two elements receive the uh, some emphasis. Will we work with target? Uh, sorry, targeted or random samples? One more time, listen to me. Will we work with targeted or random samples? Right now, people, listen and repeat after me. Will we work with targeted we or random samples? Everybody. We will we work with targeted or random samples. Or random or random samples? Yes. Or random sample. There we are. Let's see. The next one, just expression of admiration. You're right. Everybody, you're right. 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 Come on. Exactly. You're right. Yes, there you are. Remember the emphasis <laughs> on that one. The emphasis. Right. The rest is more like uh, there are no more questions, I believe. But let me see if there is some information. I will check on some info and then I give you the chance. But at this moment, can you raise your hand, please, if you want to participate for the reading? I need two people for the conversation at this moment. 
Thank you, Javier, and thank you, Jose Efrain. At this moment, I give the chance. For the rest, uh, keep your hands up, and I'll give you the chance. Don't worry. All right, let me see. Mr. Javier, you begin. Jose Efrain, you answer, right? You may start, Javier. Thank you so much. Okay. Have you made any progress with the sample the selection for the focus group? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect, collect a query result. We will work with targeted random sample in action. We, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group location of each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product, we will go for a random sample. For it's necessary to create a to create well designed questionnaire to get specific information we require. I'll meet us today in the afternoon. So no need. All right, so we work on it. All right, thank you so much. Let me uh, let me help you with some pronunciation at this moment. Let me see this one too. All right. Um, the next one, then the rest of the uh, this one design, this one as well, and let me help you on some information for uh linking sounds. This one should go like that one. All right, check on this one. Pronunciation practice for everybody. Green info. Listen or repeat after me. Accurate. 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 Thank you. Thank you. The next one in, in green. Furthermore. 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 All right. The next one. Designed. 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 And finally, require. 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 Check on the on the next one that, that is like kind of orange or yellow color. Linking sounds. Work on it. Work, work on, on it. it. Work, work on it. it. Work on it. Yeah. Don't stop, right? Don't stop. Work on it. So we work, work on so it. we work, work on, on it. it. Work on it. Work on it. Work on it. Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. So we work on it. Thank you so much. Next one, Karen. You are Fernanda, Oscar, you are Moises in the conversation. Thank you so much. You may start. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus groups? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. We will work with targeted or random samples. In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I met Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Ah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Let me help you on more pronunciation. As you know, that is for everybody. Check on the new information in green. Listen and repeat after me. Questionnaire. Everybody? Questionnaire. Questionnaire. One more time? Questionnaire. Questionnaire. Exactly. Take a look at the information. In, let's say yellow, right? Linking sounds. The first one, of each. Of this. Of 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 each. Of 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 exactly. Take a look at this one quickly. Um, uh, information. This one. Let me make it bigger. That is a tip on pronunciation. This one. This word in pronunciation is like this one. Of pronunciation of. Of which. This one. Like, like this word. Of. This one is like this one, off, off. Okay. But the other of, 
of of each of each make of each. a linking sounds listen and repeat after me of each of each of each of each. yeah that's it right of each thank you so much the other one in orange find out find out find out find, find, find out. out exactly right don't stop if you say find out you stop uh -uh, don't do it right find out find out everybody after me find out find out find, find out, out. Find exactly out. right now in the complete sentence be because we want to find out everybody because, because we, we want, want to find, want out. To find because out because we want to find out yeah exactly thank you so much there we are people nicely done nicely done on that one right don't forget about pronunciation of words next person let's give the chance Mr. Robin, you are Moises. Katie, you are Fernanda in the conversation. Thank you so much. Okay. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus groups? All right. Thank you so much. Give me a second, Katie. Let's work on this one. Robin, listen to me and then you repeat. Have you made any progress with the sample selection of the focus groups? One more time, Robin. How do you make any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Ah, that's even better. Thank you so much. Katie, continue. Dear Moises, we will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Ah. Mm -hmm. Continue. Will we work with target or random samples? Target is or random samples? Okay. Will we work with targeted or random samples? Uh -huh. In addition, we need to discuss who will be not who will be monor, uh, monitoring 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 each group and the location of each. Uh huh. Thank you. Continue, Katie. You're right. Because we want to find out the overall perception of the product, we will go. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Work on it. Work on work, work on, on it. it. Exactly. I read the last part, uh, Robin, so we continue improving. Listen to this and let's try to include a little bit more of fluency. Listen to this one. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Right. Robin, one more time, please. Furthermore. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, it is necessary to greet a world design questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work, work, ah. work on it, so, work on it. So we work on it. Yeah, you see? Nicely done, Robin. Better. That's better. Thank you so much. Just double check on pronunciation questionnaire. 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 Mm -hmm. There you are, exactly. Thank you so much, people. Nicely done on this one. Good job for the people who participated. For the rest, my comment of all the time, listen to the conversation and practice. Practice and practice. By the way, did you practice the previous conversation? Yesterday you told me, yes, teacher, we promise. Did you practice? Uh, excuse me, teacher. Ah, I'm just asking in general, Robin, if, if you did, right? Because yesterday in the class, I shared a recording from the previous conversation, right? And I said, hey, people, practice, please. This can help you. And then I asked you, do you promise you will do it? And everybody said, yes, teacher. I prom We promise. We practice. Now I'm just trying to discover, did you practice? Or not yet? I I practice uh -huh. the, this conversation. 
is the last conversation is the last uh audio that you yeah. sent yeah the whatsapp group yeah correct i remember it, yes it's the last one right and the name of the file goes according to the page page uh page 21 page okay. 20 so you can keep track of that one right yeah it's called page 21 page that's the, the name last, the last recorder exactly there we are so people please we continue with the homework assignment right that is a permanent homework assignment practice you want to improve it's practice right because for this one to gain fluency to gain intonation there is no other option practice 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 the more you practice the better you speak if you see in the class i give you some feedback the second time you do it better right you include more, more better pronunciation more fluency more intonation so if you practice outside the class believe me you will do better right better every time so please uh check on that one that's why i'm i'm trying to take some time to share with you the recordings because the recordings are not part of the uh, of the book right so i'm just trying to do something extra for you so please practice please 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 all right do you practice do you promise you will practice over the weekend yes teacher yeah yes teacher. all right all right thank you, you so have much time to practice please 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 it's then, it i mean the, the record yeah exactly it's for you know for continuing improving all right that's why i'm just trying to work and help you in that one please 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 right Así que porfas, 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 practice, 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 right? Los audios no son parte del libro. Yo estoy tratando de ver cómo se los eh, convierto a, 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 tech, a, a audio para compartirse y que usted tenga una referencia extra, ¿ok? Thank okay. you, teacher. Si usted tiene el recurso, aprovechelo, porfa. Va a ser para su beneficio, ¿ok? Porque sí tenemos vocabulario, sí manejamos estructura, pero igual tenemos que llevar de la mano la fluidez la entonación para sonar más naturales en el idioma. Yo sé que podemos, pero como les digo, eh, si no se practica, eso no mejora. ¿Okay? Mentalmente, que uno hable en, en su mente, no. Uno puede crear estructuras y oraciones en su mente, decir, ah, quizás así es el orden, correcto. Yes, you can do it, no problem. But for fluency, there is no other way. You have to speak. You have to speak, speak, speak. Right? So let's work on that one. One more tip. Try to work uh, on tongue twisters if possible, right? Go on YouTube and say top tongue twisters and try some of them, right? Otro tip, eh, practique los trabalenguas. En YouTube ponga tongue twisters o trabalenguas en inglés. Vean los más simples que existen. Los escucha en YouTube, usted los practica. Eso nos va a hacer también que de pronto nos vayamos adecuando a cierta cadena de sonidos que van consecutivos, que a veces... Hasta uno siente que se le traba la lengua. Es un proceso natural que uno dice, y quiero decir esto, y se me traba la lengua. All right? It, it's possible. It happens. Right? And that is something normal. But, as I mentioned, and I'm sorry for bothering with, with this, the more you practice, the more you learn. Right? So, let's continue practicing. Do you want to improve people? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher. Of course, teacher. Yes, I do. And what's the answer? If you want to improve, what do you have to do? Practice, 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 speak English. Yes. Practice and practice. practice and speak. There, exactly. There you are. Thank you so much. All right. So please, let's do it. And I believe in you. I know you are doing great. Hey, we can do better. Why not? All right. Thank you so much. Let's continue with some information after this one. There is an exercise that is to check if you understood the information in the conversation. There are three questions on this one, and I will give you um, two minutes because you are very smart, right? I give you two minutes, work on this one, and later we uh, participate with answers. So please work on this one, questions based on the conversation, all right? You have the time to create the answers. Thank you so much.
one more minute to check on this one. Thank you so much. all right all right thank you so much people for your time in the practice let's check on some answers all right if you finished great if not we discover the answers together why not right mr eric can you read question number one please thank you how many? Of course, teacher. How many focus group will participate in the test? Thank you so much. Everybody, let's see it together. What's the answer? Three groups. Three groups. Three groups. Okay. Three groups. Ah, check on this one. Thank you so much. If we want to provide complete answer, we say, everybody, three. Thank you so much. Correct answer, exactly. Three focus groups. But just to, con to practice giving complete answers, this should be the one. Right? Thank you so much. Second question, let me give the chance to other person. Miss, <clears throat> Miss, Miss, Miss. Robin, if you have the chance, can you read question number two, please? What type of sample has Fernanda selected for the testing process? All right. Double check on this one, Robin, one more time. Listen to me, and then we work on this one. Emphasis at the beginning, right? What type? Listen to this one. What type of sample has Fernanda selected for the testing process? What type of sample? Robin, you're up. Go ahead. Okay. What type of sample was Fernanda selected for the testing process? All right, thank you so much. Double check on this one, has, right? Has, no was, has. Ah, right. excuse me, teacher. Uh, no problem. <laughs> or letter, excuse me, oh, okay, okay, yes. What type of sample has Fernanda selected for the testing process? Thank you so much, Robin, you see? Better, every time we improve. Thank you so much, everybody. Help me. What's the answer? Random samples. Random samples. Random samples. Sandra has selected random samples. Or random samples. Thank you so much. Random. Thank you so much, Javier. And thank you so much. Everybody. And thank you so much, Javier and Oscar. Oscar, can you say the complete sentence? Because you gave a complete answer, please. Fernanda has selected random samples for their Yay. testing process. Exactly. She has selected. She has selected. She has selected. selected. Exactly. There we are. Remember to use uh complete complete uh, sentences, all right? Because the, the short answer is a random sample, right? That's it. No random problem. Sample. To yeah. find out overall perception, teacher. There we are. Thank you for that compliment, Jose Roberto. Good point. Good point. All right. But remember, let's try to give complete answers on this one. The next one, who? Who will design the questionnaire? Who will design the questionnaire? Mr. No, I give the chance to one lady at this moment. Miss Katie, can you read on this one, please? Number three. Who will design the questionnaire? Thank you. Questionnaire. Questionnaire. Question. Questionnaire. Exactly. Near, exactly. The final part. Uh, in spelling is in one form, but pronunciation, near, questionnaire, questionnaire. Mm -hmm. Thank you. People, what's the answer? Who will design the questionnaire? Lucas. 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 Lucas.
Lucas is the to create the questionnaire. All right, thank you so much. The order, you know, it's no problem, right? But two people, all right, two people will participate. What are the names of these people? Moises will right? design the questionnaire. Design there you questionnaire. are. Exactly, complete answer will design the questionnaire, all right? Thank you so much. Nicely done on that one, people. Nicely done. Now, after this one, let me go back to something and then we have some info. Check on this one. If you remember in the conversation, there were some words, right? And do you remember why we express some ideas, but how do we use them? Do you remember? For additional. For add. Uh, for uh, information. extra information or another yes. idea. There we are. Thank you so much. Exactly. Extra information, teacher. There you are. Thank you. Nicely done. Nicely done on that one. Let me go quickly for an example. All right. Let me have some idea on this one quickly. Uh, oh, sorry. No, this color is not the best let me choose on this one all right thank you i need to work then in addition can you complete the, my sentence please i need to work in addition i have to wake up early i mean all right thank but you not so much. for me tomorrow Yay, yes. lucky you, lucky you. Yes. <laughs> lucky you, all right. Let's see this one. I love pupusas. In addition, more people who can complete this one. Let me give some, uh, some uh, tell me, tell me, tell me. I have to drink chocolate. Ah, I sorry, one more time, Jose Roberto. <laughs> I have to drink chocolate. I have to drink, all right, chocolate. All right, thank you so much. Hot, hot chocolate. Hot there chocolate. Why not? All right. Let's let me help you on this one because we are saying expressing ideas about love, right? Because you're expressing preference. I love, and the other I have is obligation. Love and obligation. Let's go for the word love. All right. So it's yes. better, right? I love pupusas. In addition, I love to drink hot chocolate. Ex one information, extra information. All right. I like teacher. Uh, like it's possible. Yeah, it's possible. In that case, yeah, because you are expressing the same idea, expressing preference. Okay. Hey. I will prefer. I will prefer coffee with the coffee. <laughs> coffee yeah. with pupusas. That's a good alternative. That's a good alternative. I would prefer a a a, a cold Coca Cola, probably. <laughs> or <Horror chat. laughs> <Horror art. laughs> Sounds like a good idea. Oh, in Friday, <laughs> pupusas with a beer, teacher. In the no. night. Oh, Jose, in the night, yes. In the night, yes. At night. Cola at night. Hey, at, at night. Uh, you at... see the other option? Huh? Yeah, cola, cola champagne. champagne is better. Oh. 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 better. <laughs> in the planets. Yeah, oh my goodness. Bungalows. At this moment, let's go. <laughs> Ratico. Yeah, oh my goodness. <laughs> all right, all right. Check on this one. One more example. I, let's see, practice, just to give you an idea. I practice, I will put it in abbreviation. Basketball. Furthermore, how, who can help me? How can we complete this one? I'm talking about idea about practicing sports and I want to incorporate other, other idea. Furthermore, I play football. Uh -huh. Ah, thank you. Football. All right. Uh, football or soccer, right? Yeah. Football, if you're talking it's... American football, okay. it's possible, right? But if soccer. you want to talk about like Messi, right? It should be soccer. <laughs> so it depends yeah. on you. It depends on you. Right, they are not the same, but because we don't have context, 
the two possible the two alternatives are valued, right? Two alternatives are valued. Thank you so much, right? Last example for this one. Uh, I need one person. Let's see some people to participate as well. Let me ask on. Let me ask on one person. Mr. Gustavo, can you tell us one idea? Go for one idea, random idea, please. One, one random idea. Yeah, it, yeah. Uh, okay. About preference, probably, to be, to be specific. Hmm? Okay, I... I like... Uh-huh. To travel... Mm -hmm. By car. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Or do you tomorrow. want to incorporate some? Uh, okay. Let's do something. Let me help you with something. I have other word. The function ah, okay. similar. I love uh -huh. to travel by motorcycle. All right. Ah, like to travel by motor. Uh, motorcycle. There we are. Right, let me uh, make this one like together so we have some ideas. All right. One. There we are on this one. Let me separate this one so it is easier for you to see. Right. Uh, can we read on this sentence, everybody? Please. I like everybody. I like to travel. I like to travel. I travel by car. Robert, I like to travel by motorcycle. I like to travel by motorcycle. Exactly. You see, different. Yeah, my goodness. No, come on. <laughs> no, nah. because we are responsible. On the street, uh, we are okay. responsible. We, right? The rest of the people, we don't know. But we are very responsible. In this one, <laughs> take a look at this one, people. One question. Let me uh, make separate this one. Yeah, looks better. All right. Take a look at this one. What expressions were we using to include extra info? In addition. addition. In addition. Furthermore. Uh huh. Furthermore. Furthermore. And the other. Moreover. Moreover. Moreover, thank you so much. If you pay attention to the sentences, what punctuation do we include for these words? What do you see before and after these words? I forgot this how one? Do you say this. All right. How do you say this one, people? The first yeah. one? Oscar, period. one more time. Period. 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 Period or point? Point. No. What? What's, what's, what's the correct one? Period. Period. Why period, Miss? I remember this. This is name. This is the name. Uh, all right. Mm. And if I say point? And because point, point is for numbers. Oh, exactly. Thank you so much. Good one. When you say, for example, in this case, this word is point. When you talk about numbers, 9.6. All right. In sentences, right, like in this one, work. And like that one, in this case, we say period because it's for punctuation, all right? So in Spanish, there is no problem. The same name, right? Punto, punto, punto. No complications, but in English, different. For numbers, what is the name for numbers? Period. No, nah, for numbers. Oh, number that's point. What, what's point. Point. Here? point. <laughs> in <laughs> punctuation, we say? Period. 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 And if we are talking about uh, websites, we say? Period. That. 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 Um, that. You see? Three names. Crazy, right? That. That. <laughs> All right. So talking about this one in punctuation for this one, 
How do we say it? Is it point period or dot? Point. Uh, uh, it's period. <laughs> it's punctuation. <laughs> Period. Exactly this one. It is a period, all right? So before the word, one more time, before this, uh, these transition words, right? What is the first element before this one? We we include a comma. No, before before. Punto. Uh, a in, period. In, in, period. <laughs> a yeah, here we are. We include a period. And after <laughs> the transition word, what do we include? A comma. A comma. Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. All right. When we incorporate ideas like this, it is possible to incorporate them and to include transition words. Right. Thank you so much. Question before we go to the next part. Let me have some info on this. Question people, how do you call this character? Let me let me copy this one here. How do you call this one in English? What is that punctuation? Um, it is not a comma, it is not a period. Semicolon. Semicolon. Yay. Exactly, there we are, right? Semicolon. Colin. Semicolon. All right. Yeah. Semicolon, right? That is the one that a combination of a period of a comma, you call it semicolon. Thank you. Did you know that one, people? Teacher. Yeah, tell me. Uh, in Spanish, I say etymologia. In English, mm -hmm. I don't know, is if is it the same but uh semicolon what is the 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 origin etymological the, the, the origin the origin uh -huh. oh my goodness that's a, that that is a question for my exam sergio <laughs> my goodness I, I i will look for that one because i don't know you're talking about the origin for the correct for the name semicolon ah this is a little strange okay. i feel oh. strange all right i will look for that one because to be honest i don't know of this one right let's see i can look for this one i can look for this information and probably later and get back to you after i look for information right but i can look for it for, for the context of this one mm -hmm. i will right Later on, I can share some information with you for semicolon, right? But at this moment, I don't know. So, Gustavo, I'm so sorry, but I will get information. Don't worry, teacher. All right, thank you. All right, and in this one, let me switch. I was asking you this part because if we go to our books, let me make the switch. Uh, can you see my book, people? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Right. Yes, Thank, you. Thank you for the confirmation. Let me see on this information. All right. Uh, Mr. Sergio, uh, I need your collaboration. Can you read this sentence, please? Yes. Let me give. That's better. All right. Thank you so much. In order to select a focus group to test a product, it's important to gather a group of participants who make direct use of the final product or service. Moreover, it is necessary to choose a moderator for every group. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Just double check on something, just for pronunciation in this one. You say gather. 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 Exactly. Pr pronunciation, gather. All right. Thank you so much. Take a look at the punctuation, people. What do we have before moreover? A comma. A comma? No, semicolon, teacher. Ah, I check on this one. There is colon. More. Ah, before, before. A colon or semicolon? Ah, semicolon. Before. Semicolon. Ah. Semicolon. Exactly. 
before we have a semicolon and after, Gustavo, you are correct. Um, what do we have after, <laughs> Gustavo? A comma. Sorry. Yeah, this, no, that's it. This, no is, this is a, a, a frequency problem with me. Before and after. I confuse be, uh -huh, before and after. It, it uh -huh. happens. No problem. No problem, right? It, it happens. But yeah, just to affirm on this one, before we have a semicolon and after comma. Right? Thank you so much. Thank In you. this one, we have just a, a point on this one, just for you to check on this information. Take a look at this. Talking about punctuation, let me um, go for this one. Wait, 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 wait. Let me take... There we are. All right. We have different ideas and we have different forms to express this one. For example, in letter A, take a look at this one. What is the punctuation we have? What is before in addition? What's before this one? It's a question mark. Ah, a question mark. A question mark. And after, uh, in addition, what do we have? A comma. 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 All right, exactly. Pay attention to exercise B. What do we have before furthermore? Nothing. Exactly, Sorry. right? Nothing. No, nothing because it starts the nothing. sentence. Yeah. Right? It's the beginning of a sentence. And after furthermore, what do we have? Comma. 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 A comma. Comma. There we are. Exactly. All right. As you see, there are different uh, positions of these transition words, right? And we can have different forms of punctuation, but something relevant in this one. Let me see on this part and let me give the chance for more people to participate. Miss, uh, let me see. Miss Claudia, can I have your help to read the new information in red or pink, please? Okay, notice that the transition in addition and furthermore in A period and B period are preceded, preceded, preceded by a question mark and a period and followed by comma. All right, exactly. That is what we have. And what about on the other, Miss Saida? Can I have your help to read on this one? Let's see. In C, the transition, moreover, is preceded by a semicolon and followed by a comma. By a comma, right? We have different scenarios as we read on this example. But what's the idea of this one? Mr. Javier, can I have your collaboration to read the final part, please? The decision. Sure, Liz. The decision to separate the two ideas with a period question mark plus transition or with a semicolon plus transition is a ma matter of personal style. All right, thank you so much, thank you so much. So, Mr. Manuel, is it possible to have question mark comma, period comma, or semicolon and comma? Wait, which is the correct one, Manuel? Mr. Manuel, hello, hello. I don't know, teacher. Uh, this is the, the decision to separate the, the two ideas. Mm -hmm. well, with a video, video question mark. Let me copy just a format quickly for you. 
All right. I have three different formats, people, and I, I am expressing some ideas. Which is the correct one? Uh, the text say mm -hmm. uh, it's a matter of personal style. All so, right. What does it mean, Karen? You don't it care. Is... Uh -huh. So you don't care. The three forms are correctly. Okay. Thank you so much for that comment, Karen. Thank you so much. Mr. Norman, do you agree with Karen's idea? Uh, I, uh, yes, yes, sir. I agree. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And why do you uh, agree? Uh, teacher, but, but uh -huh. when, when you say in addition, mm -hmm. in addition, uh, the number two is, is correct. Number two is in correct. In addition, he said, yes, he said, says in addition a uh, formula uh, preserved by a question mark mm -hmm. and period. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Aha, Manuel, tell me. Go ahead. What do you think? Number one, two, or three, Manuel? Uh, number two. Number uh, two for you. The, the, yes. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think, Patricia? From the three formats, which is the correct one? Mm, I don't know. I think the three ideas is correct because it depends when the the sentence first two or mm -hmm. three. Mm -hmm. I think. All right. Thank you so much. The three ideas are check on, on that one just for plural. Three ideas Teacher. are. Tell me, Gustavo. Go ahead. I think the number two is is not possible. Mm -hmm. uh, I think when you are writing a a question, yeah, you don't have to use in addition after after that in addition of that because mm -hmm. if you say in addition you are uh, you are. Uh, Giving more information about? Mm -hmm. I think. All right, no problem. If you are asking for a for a anything, mm -hmm. after that you can't you can't uh, write in addition. Ah, with another question. What do you think? Uh huh. With another question. Possible. <laughs> Okay. It, uh, it might be. It depends on the context, right? It depends on the context in that case, right? It sounds weird if you make a question and then you give more information, right? But if you organize some idea, as in this one, do you think it's possible, Gustavo? Yes, teacher. Ah, all right. So probably it depends, I right? see it's possible. It is possible. And in this case, it is not only in addition. I can have... Moreover, what is other alternative we can include people? Furthermore. Furthermore, exactly. Uh, furthermore. The same idea. All right? Thank you so much. Let me ask on the last. Tell me, tell me. But in according to the, the last example, uh, conversation example, Mm -hmm. it's, not, not says, it's not necessary two questions. You can have first the question, after the question, uh, we can have the, the, the transition word. Uh -huh. After transition word, you can put uh, whatever the human. All right. Thank you so much. All right. It is possible, as Mr. Norman mentioned, right? It is not only necessary or strictly uh, strictly necessary to have two questions. After a question, 
you can have a transition word, and you can include more information. That was similar to the, to the conversation practice. There was an example, right? In the conversation practice, if you remember, there was a transition word, comma, a question, transition word, and then more elements. So it is not restrictive. It is possible, right? And in this one, all right, the three alternatives are possible, right? The three alternatives are possible. There is no problem. You can have a period, transition word, comma, question mark, as in this one, right? Not, there is no problem. You can have all of this. All the combinations sure. are possible. Tell me. I have a question. Go ahead. My perception is no. that in addition is more more formal uh -huh. the, uh -huh. the way to say in my perception yeah that, uh -huh. that's that's my that's my equation because mm -hmm. i was thinking when i type in a mail mm -hmm. and th there is one more formal than other like mm -hmm. in addition for uh to more moreover moreover mm -hmm. is i i feel Moreover, is mass is more cool, relax. I, uh -huh. I feel like informal, like uh, informal. Let's say, uh -huh. Uh -huh, kind but... of from. Uh -huh. But actually, mm -hmm. Mister, in this one, the three of them are formal. The three of them, there is no problem. They are synonyms in this one, and there is no problem. You can use in addition, further, more or moreover. They are at the same level because the function in this one is to include an extra element and to include an extra element uh, in this one there are no levels like one is more formal than the other no the three are at the same level probably one is more common than the other probably yes right probably we use in addition in addition is more common for everybody but furthermore is uh is formal moreover is formal and they have the same function so it, it depends on your style if you want to use in addition Perfect. If you want to put a comma, a period, a semicolon, respecting this format, right? It is possible. And as Karen mentioned, and as the book says, it's a matter of personal style. So it depends on how you want to put it. If you want to separate ideas with a period, that's it. Semicolon, no problem. But connected ideas, right? Something that you express a detail and you include something almost related to the to the first idea it is possible to go like that but they are formal eric the three of them hmm? i am confused teacher. thank you teacher. why why sir hill the only rule uh-huh the three case uh-huh only the, the use of the comma the the another uh, situation you see the period or question mark mm -hmm. Uh, it's a it's a it's a form of personal style mm -hmm. uh, and why it, it's so confused to me uh, the, the 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 another three rules option three that's what you mean the three option uh, the only <laughs> rule in this case mm -hmm. is use comma uh, after the 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 the, the word, transition word uh, the transition word uh -huh. I, I don't know I, I, I it's so confused uh, I understand use, uh, uh, any any mark mm -hmm. or, or or punctuation exactly exactly and and I get your point mm -hmm. you know what is before of this one it depends on the structure of the paragraph probably all right something that is necessary is a comma right that is something fixed yes. as you are mentioning sir here yes. a comma is necessary after this one but in this case it is just telling you that it is possible that some information can be before that's why because if you see there is a question mark there is a comma obviously we need we include other idea so it is possible to appear there all right it is not uh, like a rule, let's say, right? But something can happen before the transition word. But probably it is easier, as you mentioned, if we think 
hey, I need a comma after that transition word. There is no problem. But everything is about the, your personal style. How you want to express the idea, it's up to you, right? But think about that one. Comma is necessary after transition word. That's it. Easier, <laughs> I believe. All right. Now, people, uh, because of time, let me quick go quickly for some information and then we go to bed. Do you remember the, the program about the activities for this course? The chronograma. Do you remember that one? Chronograma de evaluaciones. Do you remember that one? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Today we have something and I want to share something with you because we have uh, booked or we have something uh, that we have to do on this one. Speaking of innovation. There we are, Karen. Thank yes. you so much. Quickly. Check on the information, please, in the principal folder. All right. Check on speaking evaluation. Click on that one, and then you go for the speaking evaluation units one and two. Then we have the requirements here, and I need some collaboration. Karen, can you read the first instruction, please? Because a voice recording of two minutes. 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 All right, thank you. Jose Efrain, the second one, describe. Yeah. Describe the product you select with your group. Mm -hmm. It should be only the one product. All right, you selected. Oh, you, you selected. selected. All right, this is making reference to yesterday's practice in the breakup room. So remember you were talking about a jacket, you were talking about uh, some perfume, All right? So this activity makes reference to yesterday's practice because that was the preparation for this. Step number three, Mr. Roberto, can we read on this one? Talk. Mr. Jose Roberto, hello, hello. Is he sleep? Ah, ah, yes, teacher. Ah, ah, come on, thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, teacher, I, 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 I am very tired. I know, I understand. Let's, uh, can you help yes. me, please? Yeah. Okay, teacher. Talk, Talk about, about the test. Talk okay. about the test or research method you selected to the to test the product. To test the product, exactly. And finally, Sergio. Explain why the test or research method you select is the best for your products. Exactly. All right. So in a recording, you are going to explain all you did in the breakup room, right? You record a voice, uh, you make a voice recording, you describe the product. Hey, I selected a jacket, right? This is the product we want, I want to test. Talk about the research method. Uh, I want to use uh, the, the use test. Why? Because people will have the experience to try it on, to see, uh, the, to, to, to feel the materials, to see how useful the jacket is, and I can obtain good information from uh, the for these people, from customers, something like that, right? So you explain what uh, the ideas you were talking about in the breakup rooms. That will be individual, all right? So check on instructions, and if you didn't have the chance to work in breakup rooms, make up a, a product. There is no problem, right? But the idea. The product is not in the market, right? Remember on that one. Nada más como un punto a recalcar, el producto del cual ustedes están hablando no existe en el mercado todavía. Eso es lo que nosotros estamos en el escenario que estamos, ¿ok? Porque usted quiere ver si es factible lanzar ese producto, ¿ok? ¿eh? Por eso su producto, usted lo va a describir cuál es el producto, qué método va a utilizar para probarlo, para ver si es factible lanzarlo. ¿Y por qué selecciono ese método? ¿Qué beneficio va a obtener de ese método? Blind test, monadic test, right? So you go for that one, all right? That is what you have to do. Is it clear at this moment? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. All right, perfect, yes, perfect, yes, perfect. Do you date? Monday. 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 Seven. Exactly. Seven. According to chronograma, 
right? De acuerdo al cronograma, nos quedaba para el domingo. La fecha son dos días que teníamos hábiles, pero he decidido darles un día más. Así que van a tener hasta el lunes para que ustedes puedan hacer su entrega. Tendrán tres días para poder grabar, explicarlo y poder mandar su audio. All right? Thanks. Thanks All right. for the extra time, teacher. No problem, no problem, right? So, people, uh, I hope... Uh, tell me, tell me. Thank you, teacher. All right, all right. No problem. Thank you so much, all right? No problem. So, people, please don't forget about this one. Over the weekend, I will try to give you feedback about the forum and about the second homework. Todavía tengo pendiente darles retroalimentación del foro en el fin de semana. Espero avanzar con ustedes y darles la retroalimentación y el lunes ya notificarles que todo está revisado para que usted pueda ver su progreso en la plataforma. People, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate your collaboration. Enjoy the weekend. Relax, you know, recover energies, and see you on Monday. And take care, people. So, okay. bye bye. Good night. Uh, see, you see you on Monday. See you Monday. See you Monday. Take care. See you Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. See you, see you Mr.